let's take a closer look at the New York primary results. So far, Trump has won 89 delegates, giving him a total of 845. His closest rival in the race, Ted Cruz, picked up zero delegates in New York, keeping his total at 559. Meanwhile, John Kasich picked up three, giving him a slight bump up to 147 overall. 1,237 delegates are needed for the candidates to win the nomination as party leader. 734 are still available. Now, on the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton has picked up 135 delegates, leaving her with a total of 1,893. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, is trailing with 104 new delegates, giving him 1,180 in total. The candidates need to take 2,383 delegates to win the nomination. 1,692 are still available. And now for more on these results, let's go to John Raines, a political risk analyst with IHS. He joins us now from London Live with more. Now, thank you very much for your time. Is there any way that Donald Trump can be beaten now? Well, he, it's going to be very difficult to beat him during the primary season. So I don't think Ted Cruz has a chance of actually mathematically catching up with him. But what he needs to happen is that Ted Cruz does not get to that magic number, 1237. That's what we're all talking about. If he can keep him below that, well below that, say 100 delegates shy of that, then he still has a chance in a brokered convention when we get to the second or third ballots, when all of a sudden many of these delegates will be free to vote for whomever, whomever they want to. In that case, Cruz, Cruz might have a chance, and so might Casey for that matter. There's been a real shift in uh, Trump's strategy here. Uh, he's started to appeal to the Tea Party voters and now with more moderate states, uh, he's toning his message down and also his image somewhat. But is it going to be enough to appeal to the general public, do you think, in this next phase? Well, I think you are starting to see that shift. I think you've made a good point there, which is I think that he realizes that to go towards the general election, he's going to have to soften his image a bit. His negative ratings right now are about 40 percent underwater, so unfavorable 40 percent versus favorables. And so I think you are seeing a shift there. The question is, is it enough? He has he is unpopular among some groups. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this thing goes forward, because, of course, his presumptive uh, competitor, Hillary Clinton, also has negative ratings as well. So both of them are going to have to position themselves towards the general election. And in terms of the Democrat front, is Clinton now on the home straight, do you think? It's going to be very difficult. Yeah, you hate to say that she's won it at this point. There's still a lot of contest out there, including California. But in the pledged delegate count and in a massive lead in the uh, in the unpledged delegate count, the superdelegates. So it's going to be very difficult for him to do it. She, he, at this point, he really needs her to stumble. He needs something to stick and something to actually change the narrative of this race. At this point, she's looking in very, very good shape. So does this mean that uh, Saunders has generally lost his momentum now? It changes the narrative. At this point, he had won several states in a row, especially those out west, those states that had more white voters. He had done phenomenally well. So it changes the complexion of this race. And not only does it, it do so with New York, but also those mid-Atlantic states as well, because we're seeing wide leads for Clinton inside Pennsylvania, inside New Jersey, inside Delaware, in Maryland. And so if that continues at the current pace, again, kind of changes the story of this race. Okay, John, thank you very much for that. That's John Raines uh, from London there.